In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the conversation tab inside of characters. I'm going to open up my character here named Barkley. So this is a dog. And this dog responds to the following topics. Fetch, lie down, play dead, sit, and stand. So I've edited each of these to have restrictions and actions so that I get the appropriate response depending on what has already happened in the game. All right, so we are going to take a look at our tasks. So we have play fetch and throw object, and then we'll be able to use the commands that I showed earlier to get the dog to do things. And so we're going to take a look at these standard library tasks for conversation. But before that, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the background when your game is running. So I've loaded our game and I've enabled a feature called the debugger. So I have the runner here on the left and I have the debugger here on the right. So I'm going to turn the detail level to low and we're going to tell the dog to sit. So the description says Barkley is standing here wagging his tail. So we'll tell him to sit and we'll see what happens. And so we see that the runner added something here to say who we were talking to and then we have our text. And over here in the debugger, we see attempting to execute task, say something lazy. And then attempting to execute task, say something to character. So we're going to go back to the developer and we're going to look for the say something lazy task. And we're going to see what it does. The lazy task matches say text. And so I said say sit. And so sit is inside the text reference. And the text that came out to character, so in our case, it was to Barkley, comes from this task. And so the restrictions are that they must not be in any conversation with any character and they must be alone with any character. So this task is helping the runner guess who you're trying to talk to because this syntax doesn't have a character reference. So all it does is it executes say something to character passes the text variable or the text reference and then passes a special reference called alone with character. So say something to character is the other th task that was in this list, say something to character. So if we come back in here, we can open say something to character and we can take a look at what it does. Here we have the character reference which say something lazy has filled out for us. And so it's given us what the original task had and that task passed alone with character to fill in this character reference. So the restrictions are the player has to have seen this character and they must be in the same location. And what this does, it has a task action called say text to reference character. I'm going to open this and we see in the actions tabs for the conversation that we have say text to referenced character. So there are other options here for ask, tell, enter conversation, and leave conversation. But that's all that this task does. So we're going to hit cancel so there are no changes. So we're going to take a look at some other things that the dog does. So now that the dog is sitting, I'm going to write say sit one more time. So Barkley barks at you and stays sitting down. So we see say something executed instead of the say something lazy task. And this is because the character is now in conversation with Barkley. And so the say something lazy task doesn't run. But we can see that the say something task calls the say something to character task. And so I can we can guess that this task is set up in a similar fashion to the lazy tasks. So we come back and we find say something and we see the same syntax but when we look in the restrictions it says the player character must be in any must be in conversation with any character and so we're already talking to someone and so a drift can assume that we are continuing the conversation with the person we were already talking to 
And so we execute task say something to character, just like the say something lazy task did. We pass it the text reference, and instead of passing alone with character, we pass conversation character. So this is another special reference, which will match up with the character reference that is in the syntax for the say something to character task, which passes the text to reference character. All right, so we are going to say stand. So Barclay stands up and he looks at us and we see the, the same tasks running. So say something is now handling our input. So let's say, say lie down to Barclay, guessing that this is the syntax I used. And so we say lie down and Barclay lies down. This time we only see the say something to character task. This is the only one that ran. And that's because we already have the character reference in what we typed into the parser or into the command line. And so the say something and say something lazy tasks didn't need to run this time because we were specific about who we were talking to. So Drift doesn't need to guess. And so these other two tasks don't run. All right, so we're going to switch to medium detail now. And we're going to repeat some of the stuff that we just did. So we're going to say, say sit to the dog. And Barkley sits. And now we see the medium level of detail. So task say something lazy matches the input. The player character must not be in any conversation with any character. Fails. So this task does not match restrictions. And that's why we didn't see the lazy task before, because we are we are already in conversation with Barkley, and so the lazy task cannot run. Task say something matches the input, and it, this passes, so it passes restrictions, and it tends to execute task say something. So it checks the references, and it says say sit, which is what we typed, and the player character must be in conversation with any character passed, and so that does two things or one thing rather since that's the same reference and the second reference has no output and so the task that it's calling is say something to character and so it checks the references they both pass and there is output from the task and so that's where this part came from and so this restriction comes from our topic in our dog character. So character position for character Barkley must not be sitting. So we're going to go back to the developer. We're going to open up the dog character and I'm going to go over to the say sit topic and look in the restriction. And we see player character position, property character position for character Barkley must not be sitting, which matches what we saw in the debugger. All right, so we are going to repeat that command and see if anything is different. But to make this easier, I'm going to erase the text that was in here. So I did that by doing Control A and then hitting backspace on my keyboard. So we're going to repeat that command now that Barkley is sitting, and we're going to see what happens. So say something matches but fails. Say something passes because we are in conversation with the character and it, it passes some stuff to say something to character and we see execute conversation command sit from the from the task actions and property character position for character Barkley must not be sitting failed and so this message Barkley barks at you and stays sitting down is coming from the restriction message so if we open up Barkley again, go to the conversation tab and open sit and look at the restrictions. And this time we open it, we find our message. Character name barks at you and stays sitting down. In this case, character name refers to Barkley. All right, so we're going to do our fetch command. 
we're going to say fetch. And we have the ball in our hand. So Barkley just jumps up in place and looks at the ball. We're going to double check that that's true. And we're going to type in inventory. It says we're wearing nothing and are carrying a tennis ball. So normally I would want to change this message. I haven't bothered yet. That'll be the subject of another video. All right, so over here, we see these dotted lines showed up. So the stuff from here is from our previous command for sitting. So this is the new stuff. Down here, we see the inventory message. Uh, we also don't need to see this at this time, so we'll erase that. All right, so the say something lazy matched and failed. We are still in conversation with Barkley. And so the say something task passes instead, calls task, say something to character, and then we see the conversation task action, enter conversation command, execute conversation command fetch. And the player character must be holding tennis ball fails. And then the player character must be holding object to tennis ball passes. So we had, let's find out where this is coming from. As you may remember, we had two different tasks or different conversation topics for fetch. One of them gave us output, and it was this one. Barkley barks and jumps in place looking at the tennis ball in your hand. So the restriction is that the player character must be holding a tennis ball. This time we don't have a message here because I wanted to do the text here and do these actions. Over here, the restriction is that the player must not be holding the tennis ball. It has this message and it has these actions which were different. Because I wanted the the uh, fetching but holding on to the ball to have an effect on Barkley's state, I had to change that into two tasks rather than doing one task like I did with sit. All right, so hopefully you have learned something useful uh, about the runner and about the debugger. When you are designing your tasks or when you are working with conversation or any of the more complicated pieces of a drift, it helps to know about the debugger so that you can learn about what's going on underneath or under the hood, so to speak, uh, behind the scenes in your game.